Freedom for Animals' recent undercover investigation at Cumbria Safari Zoo, formerly known as South Lake Zoo, revealed numerous incidents of animal welfare concerns. Our investigator was tasked with helping to find a missing baby kangaroo. We're looking for a very small baby joey, but it's not been out yet. Like I've said, running around. To be honest, she's thrown it out, so we don't know if it's alive or dead. Right, just pick a corner and have a look round. After a short search by staff and volunteers, the joey was found dead in a pond. The kangaroo's outdoor enclosure includes a pond for the water birds. They are not locked in at night, and there is no safety fence around it. This baby had reportedly left the safety of their mother's pouch, fallen in and drowned. An unforgivable fatality that could have been avoided. Keepers remarked that the baby would be written off in the next stock list, joining a long line of animals who have died at this zoo. Kangaroos can get a uh, lumpy the kangaroos are reported to have suffered many ailments at the zoo, with many contracting the bacterial disease known as lumpy jaw. This contagious infection is the leading cause of death in kangaroos and wallabies in captivity. Some have received treatment over the years, but others have reportedly been relocated to other facilities, risking disease spreading elsewhere. Lumpy jaw is often contracted in animals suffering from stress, a poor diet, environment or husbandry, such as fecal contamination in feed stations. A keeper discussed how one kangaroo, Valentino, recently died, possibly from the disease. One keeper suggested that the sick animal, witnessed here in the wheelbarrow, could have recovered from this disease. As treatment is typically unsuccessful, this seems unlikely. Join us in calling on Westmoreland and Furness Council to listen to our demands to close down this zoo and rehome the animals to appropriate sanctuaries. Please share this video, sign our petition, and support local demonstrations and outreach events.